Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, today I have a whole bunch of new kits to share with you today. Uh, we've got some new RT Diorama. We've got some stuff from Arma Hobby, from Tamiya Academy, from Tacom, all kinds of stuff. This video will be a little bit longer than some of the other ones because there is so many things to show you on this. But I think you're going to be interested in quite a few of these. Also, RT Diorama has shown back up in our warehouse. And we have it on our website right now. And they're adding more and more to it every day. So we've got a lot to look at right now. So let's get started. Brand new kits from Arma Hobby. Both of these are in 70 second scale. You see we have a P39Q Aero Cobra as well as a P51B Mustang. Uh, and it's done up in very famous markings of Old Crow. So let's take a look inside. So I am starting out with the P39 Aero Cobra. And what I'm going to do is show you some of the great detail. Remembering, this is a 70-second scale kit. So if you're not familiar with Armour at all, they make some very, very high-quality kits with really, really nice detail on it. So here we are. Look at this. I mean, remember, this is only just a couple of inches long. In fact, here's my hand next to it here. But uh, there is some very nice detail in these. And I have a few customers who buy these all the time. Not these particular ones because these are brand new, but some of their other kits. And they absolutely just rave about the, the fit and how they go together. So uh, there you go. That is sprue number one for the P39 Aero Cobra. Now we are going to look at number two. And just get up in there and show you all the detail. Absolutely beautiful. And if you notice those exhausts, hopefully that's about as close as I get I can get on there right there. But you'll notice that those are hollowed through. So they're kind of individual little pieces in there. And compared to the size of my finger, they are tiny, but very nicely detailed. And it looks like you get uh, three different props in there and a couple of other little accessories. And now we are looking at the clear parts that are included in the kit. There we go right there. And of course, some of the extras that are inside. So here are three little, uh, little ball bearings that are going to be the weight for the nose because this is a uh, tricycle landing gear. So you want a little weight up front so it doesn't fall forward. There are also, I, I know you can't really see much on this, but these are die cut masking sheets for the canopy and a few other parts. And also we have our decal sheet and you can see for 70 second scale, it's quite extensive. So there's quite a few different country markings and then lots of stencils and all kinds of other cool details to add on to it. Now, I'm going to just quickly let you take a look at the instructions and see how they go together. We'll only do this one on the very first kit here because they have very similar ways of going together the way they do it. And I want to just give you guys an idea. So remember, this is for the Aero Cobra, And then we'll look at the parts for the P51B. I'll just kind of buzz through these real quick. Just to let you see how many parts because there's not a heck of a lot that goes into uh, putting one together. Obviously, with only two real sprues. There's a total of 24 steps, and then it gets right into the markings. So you see here we've got a couple of American markings, and then it looks like, what is this right here? This is uh, Italian, uh, another American one, and finally a, uh, what does that look like right there? That is uh, Polish, I believe. So that is a look at the Aerocroba. Now let's take a look at the Mustang, the P51B. And here we are. Let's jump right into the P51B. And this one is one large sprue right here, which I'm going to let you take a closer look at the detail on it here. And the fuselage right here. 
Looks to be very, very nice. So you just saw the top and bottom wing. We've got our tails right here. Flip it around, you see some of the detail that's inside the fuselage as well as the land or inside the wing there. I guess most of that is going to get covered over, but that is the other side of the main fuselage sprue. You also get this sprue right here. This has got our prop on it, as well as some drop tanks, some bombs, some other accessories here. Just like that. And finally, for plastic wise, here is the clear canopies. Those look really nice too. And just like the P39, you get a masking sheet. And here is what the decals look like for that kit. Let's take a look at those for a second. And I know we said we wouldn't look at the instructions, but I will show you which markings come inside this kit. So you can see there's quite a few of them in there. So here are the first two pages. So there was Old Crow. And there's a bonus one, as they say, and then nice little little picture like this so there you go there is a look at the p51b from arma hobby and both of these kits are actually being released right now and actually are expected in the united states within the next couple of weeks now we're going to take a look at a brand new kit that's soon to be released from academy models and this is the 35th scale SDKFZ 251-1 Ausführung C and obviously it's a German World War II half track a very early one and it looks like it comes with a couple of figures in there so let's take a look at the inside of this kit so let's start out with uh, the A sprue and as you can see here we have the sides of the hull so it's made up of multiple pieces we've got our fenders as well as it looks like a decent amount of slide molding down there so gonna be a little extra detail so let's just jump right in here take a look at all of this stuff here is the side here is some of the slide molding I was talking about going right into the hull of the vehicle. Here is the rear, and that has been slide molded too. And then some other things like MG tools, stuff just like that. That is your A sprue. Next up we have the B sprue. So this has got the floor of the, the vehicle, as well as the hood and the bottom pan, and then of course a bunch of accessories. So some MG42 was there. MP, excuse me, MP40. MP40 right there. Radio. Just like that. And next up we have the C sprue. And there are actually two of these inside the kit, as you can imagine, because this is going to be the one that deals with all of the road wheels. And um, got some rifles in there. We've got our front wheels. flip this around got a little bit more slide molding 
things like that. So, like I said, there are two of these inside the kit. And now we're going to take a look at the way the tracks are. So these are the track, two, uh, two components right here, a D and E sprue. And you get two of each of these. And to start off with, here is the actual track. So their individual link track on here. A little bit of clean up and cutting them off and cleaning them up, just like that. And then after you're done with that, you apply the rubber pad to it, as you see right here. And there are gonna be, like I said, two of each of those. And finally is the figure sprue, figure sprue Z. And I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna let you look at these. They are not the best looking figures in the world, unfortunately. The, uh, the details are kind of soft on here to say the least. Don't know if this was a new set or not, but yeah, not very deep wrinkles in the clothing. They are slide molded in a lot of areas, so. Yeah, that's the uh, the figure set that comes inside this kit as well. And here are the decals. So you get a generous amount of decals for this vehicle. And we'll quickly just look at the instructions now. So the instructions are broken up into two sections. They've got a manual one and manual two. Both of them are, are fairly thin, so I'm not quite sure why they broke it up like that. Maybe it's a, a printing thing, but uh, we'll just jump right in. Oh, and they're pullout pages here. So these are a little bit harder to show you, but we'll just kind of pull them down the line and. You can freeze frame if you decide you want to take a closer look how any of these pieces go together. Quick turn over here. Followed by this last page in manual one. Now manual one is for some reason in black and white, but manual two is in color so it's a little unusual too now i see why because manual two is primarily dealing with the color profiles of the vehicle so it doesn't look like it's too difficult to put together and i don't know if it talks too much about the figures in there i don't recall seeing those but oh yeah here they are so if you decide you want those they will be right there now I want to share with you two RT diorama kits that just came out. And uh, this is the, the first one that is very interesting. This is called At The Port. And it is just what you'd imagine. It is a dockside scene of the side of a ship that you can put a little bit of the dock as you can see right here, because this is actually what's in the kit. So you get the side of the ship, a little crane, and then a little dock area here in front that you can put like a Panzer III, a Panzer IV on, some figures, some supplies, things like that, as if they're unloading. Um, I'm thinking North Africa right here, because that's what it's talked about. Uh, I actually got to meet the two gentlemen that uh, run RT Diorama, and I told them that uh, this has been something that's been in my, my head forever to do a dockside uh, World War II diorama. And they beat me to it and actually made all the parts for me. So I don't have to try to scratch build the side of a ship. So this is all ready to go. And you can see we just zoom in here a little bit. You could just fill this with um, clear resin water. Uh, you know, or I should say dyed a little bit right there and then really detail the whole side of this up. And I think you've got a nice little diorama to start off with there. Next up, I've got a really cool diorama base. Uh, one I think you guys are gonna enjoy to see quite a bit. This is also from RT Diorama in 35th scale. This is the Stalingrad Tractor Factory. Now, obviously when you see the box art right here, the very uh, colorful picture on the bottom is the built up model. Uh, all with all kinds of extra accessories and stuff on and then of course the white in the corner is actually what comes in the kit And you can see you get a decent amount with the kit. So you're gonna get two 
base platforms here. So you've got something to, you know, to base the whole thing on. And then you've got a couple of side-by-side -side buildings that are all knocked out and destroyed. You've got the window panes. So there's going to be some die-cut wood in here. Uh, parts of the, the roof frame. And in the, uh, the actual artwork on there, they show like a KV crashing through the wall. This is going to be a perfect one to use some of RT Diorama's new accessories, like the uh, the overhead crane and some of those kind of accessories to really make a, a blown out looking factory. Okay, even though it was going to make a little bit of a mess on my uh, filming table here, I, I had to crack this bad boy open to let you guys see how this goes together. So you see here there are two large bases larger than their standard bases that come in an RT diorama, and then all of these big chunks of debris. And I think I've laid them out in the proper position, the way they are designed to go. And with that, you'll also notice we get all of these other building pieces. So uh, there's a lot of them inside here. I'm not quite sure how each one of them goes, but to give you a general idea, you're gonna have broken building pieces there in a big enough place that a KV-1 can come through here. You could put some other kind of vehicle out in the front there. Uh, and this is going to be just about almost 16 inches long this way, and then about almost 10 inches wide. I've got it on one of my uh, cutting mats here, and it's that's about the average size there. Uh, and then I'm also gonna just open this up and show you some of the uh, die cut wood so we've got some gears here which you paint those up in a nice rust color they fit inside the debris you've got pieces of roof tile here or the roof sections and then the roof tile itself as well as some uh, some soviet uh, symbols you can put on the factory and then we also have this big piece of uh, laser cut wood so we've got all the trusses the window frames things like that that really going to add a lot of detail to it so you can like i said see this and it's a it's a good size uh, diorama i think you can do a lot of things with this now the rt diorama is in stock right now in fact we did just receive a uh, a shipment of rt actually a pretty decent size shipment and these are available as well as the uh, the ships available right now on our website at andyshhq.com Next up, we have a brand new car kit from Tamiya, and this is the 124 scale Nissan Z. And I'll kind of lift up the box here a little bit and let you see the, the side. And you'll notice that the kit has both the Japanese spec as well as the US spec inside there. So there'll be a left hand and a right hand drive in the actual car kit. So let's take a look at the plastic inside. And to start off with, we have the body of the car. Let you see here how that looks. And you can see the way this mold has been cut. They're designed to do uh, the different versions of it. Also, the top here looks like it has another panel that fits on top of it there. So there is the main part of the body. Here's another little piece of the body. Looks like it'll go on just like that. And now, okay, so here is the top of the car done up in a, a black plastic. And I'm just gonna let you look at the way they've designed this. Next up, we have a big white sprue here. And so in this one here, we've got, it uh, looks like the, the front of the car, as you can see, just like that. Looks like the lower chassis. I almost said lower hull. <laughs> I almost said lower hull. The, the chassis of the car. And looks like the door frames. We've got our seats. Let me flip these around so you can see those really well. Very nice. Also, next up, we have a, another black sprue. So there are the two different dashes for uh, Japanese and American market, left and right hand drive. It's like the back of the seats. Flip this around here. 
more of the interior of the car. Go. Next up, we have the metallic gray silver uh, piece, which usually would be an engine. Now, there is no engine in this kit. This is a curbside, but you see there is a little bit of a transmission on the bottom. You've got like the brake rotors, the exhaust, pieces like that. Just like that. And then next up, we have the wheels and a few other little little pieces on there now i'm gonna left these in the bag right here i love to me a tires i've got some of the best tires in the market and let's grab one of these and pull it out I'll let you see the tread pattern like that and next up the last bit of plastic we have the clear part so we've got a nice clear windshield right there the rear window side windows and of course all the light covers as you can see just like that there's your clear parts there also is some metal foil parts so for like the Nissan symbol as well as the rear view mirrors and the side mirrors like that and then as for decals and other paper accessories we have our decal sheet right here it's like instrument panel some other little things on there and then a mask that you can cut these out put them on the glass and be able to paint the entire body with the glass in place a little helpful feature so both of those are also in the kit and lastly, I'll give you a quick peek at the instructions. And while we're looking on that, I'll just let you know this kit is actually due in fairly soon, within the next month or so, they're telling us. And of course, if you want to take a longer look, you can just hit pause on whatever device you're watching this on. like one more page here we go yeah there you go guys there is a quick look at Tamiya's new 24 scale Nissan Z now I'm going to show you some new CAD drawings that they have for two kits that are getting lots and lots of attention and I'm talking about the 35th scale AH64D and AH64E from TACOM and as you can see from these pictures right here, it is going to be a beautiful, beautiful kit. From what I understand, they should have them done in December and we should be seeing them sometime in January as it stands right now. Now, Tacom has told me that they will have a sample of actually both of these kits very, very soon. So look forward to a uh, complete preview video as soon as I get it in. And since we're talking about brand new kits from Tacom, here are four releases that are actually done now and should be shipping out to the United States. So we hopefully should have them in December. The MQ-8B Fire Scout. There's also a Stug 3G with Winter Ketten, a Italian Horizon class destroyer, and a three-in-one kit. This one actually has three full kits inside, a Hanabu 1, 2, and 3. The uh, fictitious uh, German UFO is from World War II. So look for all four of those kits to be arriving sometime in December. 
now you're looking at a brand new kit that will be out very soon from Ming. And this is the 40A scale McDonnell Douglas F4G Phantom 2 Wild Weasel. And it looks like it is a beautiful kit. I've seen some of the, uh, the work done up on it. It looks very, very nice. Talking to Ming, I should actually have a sample of this kit within the next couple of weeks. So as soon as I get a sample of that in, we will open it up and give you a full preview on this. And after that, they're expected to hopefully arrive sometime in December. Now we have two new kits from Das Work in 35th scale. Both of these kits here are former Dragon Model kits that have been reboxed by Das Work at a lower price. Up on top there, you see the FDKFZ 251-7. That is the Pioneer version of the 251. And then on the bottom is the 250-1B. And this is the new form. This is the more squared off version of the early SDKFZ 250. Both of these are actually available right now. And I'm gonna open up one of them to kind of give you an idea of what the, the quality of the former Dragon kits look like. And while we're talking about that, this is the X Dragon kit of their Stormgeschutz 3G in 35th scale. This one has the waffle pattern Zimmerit in it. And these came out about a year and a half ago, two years ago, and they sold out very, very quickly. And this one has been restocked now too. So this one is back out for a limited time. And this one too is available right now. So what I thought I would do is open up the uh, SDKFC 250-1. This is the Noi, or meaning new, new body style, because it's a more squared off body style than the original one. Uh, the reason I chose this one too is I actually have built this kit when it was a Dragon kit multiple times, and that was long before YouTube, so I don't actually have a build video on it. But I thought I would just take a couple moments and share with you what the, uh, the parts inside look like. So we'll move that off to the side there and we'll get right into the lower hull. Let's see here. Got some of the drive sprockets attached to this piece here. And like I said, I won't spend too, too much time with this. So we've got our, our inside of the vehicle, our floor. That'll drop right in there. like that that is the second big sprue and then we have our sides here just like that and the tracks come pre cut out already so they're not on the sprue you do have to glue them together they are I guess technically a workable track and workable track in the sense that you can put them in kind of a sag position. So you have the actual track right here and then the track pad and that's what actually combines the two pieces together. Next up we have the sprues that make up the wheels and tires. Just like that and as you can see there are two inside there. Uh, this kit actually has some extra Pioneer tools, so some shovels, some picks. It's got a uh, little thing of clear parts. And finally, we've got a couple of other sprues here to take a look at. Here is the engine sprue that comes inside the kit. So there is an engine inside there. And also here is the, the top of the vehicle. And you see all the very squared off lines. This one was just a lot easier to produce than the other angular 250. And we have photo etch that's included inside as well as the decal sheet. <laughs> and also as a bonus in this kit is an accessory pack of weapons and uh, equipment, German equipment. So you see here, there's a assortment of rifles and machine guns, MG4, uh, oh, it's 34. There are a couple of 34s, some MP40s. On the back here, there are some helmets, some canteens, gas masks, all kinds of extra stuff. This is like a little bonus that was included inside that didn't come in the original kit. Now, both of these kits, uh, like I said, are available right now. 
And now I want to share with you some really cool products. Now, I, I've brought you these products before uh, a while ago, but these are some brand new sets from Red Fox in both 40A scale and 32nd scale. And if you're not familiar with these, uh, they are incredible looking. These are uh, 3D printed acrylic instrument panels for your airplane kits. And they, like I said, three-dimensional and fully colorized, and they look way better than I think uh, I've seen anyone ever do a cockpit. Um, way better than I can certainly uh, paint a cockpit. And these are all the eight brand new ones. Plus there is a ninth one, which I'm gonna open up. And it is for the Vought F4U 1D Corsair from Tamiya in 32nd scale. And what I thought I'd do is I'll open that one up and show you what the actual things look like. Okay, here is the instrument panels for the, the Corsair from Tamiya. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to turn it up on its edge right here because we've got it extremely close up now, but look at all of the raised detail on this instrument panel. Just look at the edge down there, how how nice looking it is. There is even a little uh, little pouch as you see that, that brownish tan color. And we'll slide this over a little bit. Look at the, the actual instrument panel. I'm gonna come up from up above now. Now that you saw the, the angle to see the depth of all these things, now look at the detail from up above and imagine this inside the cockpit of your, your airplane kit, how much detail that when you look inside, you're gonna see all of that beautiful, beautiful detail. Now, Red Fox uh, says all nine of these sets are actually available right now, and they are usually specific for the airplane. I mean, they can be messed around with a little bit, I'm sure, with a little bit of cutting and things, but usually they call out the specific airplane that they are designed for. And also I've removed just slightly here. These are actually 3D printed pieces. They're not decals. So you just use a little bit of like a uh, white glue. Would not recommend super glue on any of these only because super glue dries so fast. You don't want to accidentally put the part down crooked so a a white type of glue that gives you a few moments to mess around with it so if it's not perfectly straight you still have the option of moving it and not uh, putting on your instrument panel crooked and the last kit we're going to take a look at here is a brand new 35th scale from ak interactive this is the fj43 suv hardtop so it's basically a modern day vehicle that you can put in uh, one of like the Middle East conflicts or African conflicts, something like that. Just something a little bit different uh, than a, you know, a tank. So it's cool to have some more civilian type vehicles. It's, uh, to, and in this case, you can see they really beat it up in the artwork right here. It'd be kind of a cool little diorama. Okay, so let's jump in and look at the parts that make up. First of all, it's obviously a small vehicle because it's a, a modern day uh, SUV in 35th scale, but you'll find that there's a decent number of parts on here and a lot of detail that they've put in here. So here's the main body sprue. We've got our frame over here, the sides of the bottom of there, it looks like a transmission, the axles, differentials, things like that. I'll let you take a close look at those. Just like that. Next up, we've got the, the top of the vehicle. You can see the roof right here, the doors. I think this vehicle would look really good, really beat up and weathered, rusted torn up, just like the box art shown. And now we have our tires and wheels. And you can see, I'm trying to show it from the side here, they look like a stacked approach. They did do, so here is a centerpiece right here. So you'll stack the tires up and that way you get a good, good amount of detail on the tread. And of course there's the wheels there. Yeah, I, keep, I told you the plastic keeps coming on this kit. So here's some of the detail accessories. We've got the muffler, some of the other little pieces on the bottom, the leaf springs. Take a look at those. There's another sprue that looks like it's got the seat cushions and some of the, the rear panels for the inside. 
got our bumper here and brush guard and here is our clear parts and lastly I'll show you the set of decals that come in here so obviously you can do like a uh, correspondence vehicle <laughs> that was blown up on the side of the road we've got big press and tv here all over it so kind of cool decals to put in there so this is the new ak fj43 suv and this kit is actually available right now on the market well, there you go, guys. What did you think? There's some pretty cool items that are coming out in the very near future. Some of these are actually out right now, and the rest will be out definitely before the end of the year. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you, as always, for watching. And please stay tuned, because I have many more videos coming.